Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nay Ling. I'll be back with another video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Nay Ling. I post college related videos, lifestyle videos, hair videos, random videos, whatever, whatever, whatever. So yeah, if you enjoy all of that stuff, make sure to go and show some love and hit that subscribe button. We I know I said I want at one point like 5k by the end of this month, but y'all got me well past that. I'm about to be like at 1.6k. I just need like eight more people, so you know, just be one of those eight more people, feel me? Um, but no, I'm honestly really grateful because I've only had YouTube for about a year and some change now And I'm so grateful with how much my channel has grown Like literally like thank you guys so much, but I'm not gonna get too sappy right now But um, I don't even remember like which you Albany freshman facts number video we are on I just know that you guys this is going to be the last one okay as much as i love making these videos for you guys like i truly do love doing it it's just that a lot of these questions now we're starting to get just a little bit repetitive like you guys aren't watching all the videos and there it's really a series you know like you gotta watch all of them you don't gotta watch them in order but you gotta watch all of them because you guys are starting to ask me kind of the same questions or the questions that i'm getting are questions that are like I try to answer questions that I know multiple people have that, you know, questions that everybody is thinking. And some of the questions I'm starting to get are like questions that are like random questions that not everybody is wondering about. So this is going to be the last video. I have my iPad here with the questions. And so, yeah, let's get right into the video. So the first question is from Shania Lassiter. Like I said, I'm going to start saying people's names who ask the question. But however, if I say your name wrong, I am so sorry, y'all. Like... I used to think that I was somebody that was good with names and then having to read some of y'all names I realized that I'm not as good as I thought I was like I really be trying not to you know mess up y'all name and butcher it up but I I be trying okay but her question was do on-campus jobs pay well I personally do not know because I've never had an on-campus job um I know that the minimum wage in Albany minimum minimum yeah I said that right the minimum wage in Albany um is lower than the minimum wage like here in the city like I think it was like $11 or something well yeah i think it was like 11 to 10 dollars or 12 dollars while here in the city it's 15 i make 15 25 because i'm just like 25 cents <laughs> but anyways um as far as on-campus jobs to be honest i really don't know how much they pay i had a friend who worked on campus but like that's not something you ask someone you know like oh how much you make in an hour like how much you make how, what's your check look like that's not something you ask someone so to be honest i don't know but i just know that if you live in the city you're going to be making a lot less working on campus the next question is asked by tiana dixon she asked questions in my last video so hey girl what's up how are you hey sis <laughs> but um her first question was are you able to manage your mental health in college are there any resources in or near the school like therapists or guidance counselors so, so she asked a couple of questions, but I'm just going to do them in order. Um, so for your first question, um, I just posted a mental health video, like literally, like I think like two days ago, and it's like all college related, college based and how it goes down and how to fix it, you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, make sure you go and check that out because that will literally answer everything on how to manage your mental health and what to do when you get to those lower parts, you know. Like your mood is down here, how to fix it, feel me? But there are resources in the school. There's always people for you to talk to. And all right, when you get there, you're not gonna exactly know where to look. But um, if you ask your guidance counselor, they will definitely, definitely, definitely tell you like where to look. I know during orientation, they did cover places that you can go to. Like orientation, honestly, I feel bad because y'all yeah, yeah, don't get to do it on campus because it is a fun experience and you do get to meet friends there that you are friends with throughout the school year. So the fact that y'all gotta do it virtually kind of sucks, but I'm pretty sure they're still gonna let you know the information. They're gonna tell you like, I think it's called like Middle Earth Resources or something like that. And they help with like sexual abuse and different, I really hope that that's the right place. Like I feel like that's the right place, but I could be wrong. So don't think Middle Earth and think, yeah, that's where I go. But I think that is the right place. Like I'm like 90 percent sure but um at orientation they're definitely going to tell you where you can go and who you can talk to about this stuff and everything is confidential anonymous like nobody will know what you're going through even if you go there and you say names and be like it was this person who did this it will remain anonymous and so you decide if you want to open a case against that person but like outside of like sexual abuse and stuff if you do need someone to talk to like they they have people for that and you can ask your advisor if you don't know where to go they will tell you and then her next question was how does healthcare work at college is there a doctor's office is near or on campus and how do you get medication so there is a um 
like a clinic slash doctor's office on campus i never been to it but when i asked one where it was i think they said it was like behind dutch or near dutch or like in that area so it is on campus somewhere as far as medication goes there is a walmart that has a pharmacy inside of it so i think you could get your medication sent there or you can go to the clinic and you know prescribe your medicine there so you can pick it up there or just ask for medicine there if they see that you need it and you have like a doctor's note or whatever one thing i will say though is that they charge you for those visits so like literally they're not going to charge you up front but you're going to look at your bill and you're going to see a charge so i never went there i don't recommend going there every problem i had i self-diagnosed myself and i healed myself on my own because i refused to get charged a couple hundred dollars for me having a cold like no thank you so the next question was asked by Cindy Paulino and she said are sophomores able to pick the quad and hall that they want so yes you see it as like for freshmen you don't really get to pick the hall or quad that you want to be on all you can really choose is if you want to be in the tower or low rise after that when you're a sophomore a junior a senior you can pick where you want to live who you want to live with and all that good stuff so for example i'm a sophomore well yeah i'm about to be a sophomore feel me and i got to choose where i wanted to live so i chose to live on dutch i'm not gonna say if i live on a low rise or the tower um okay i'm gonna tell you i live in the dutch tower feel me and yeah i got to choose what quad i wanted to live on if i wanted to live in a low rise or the tower and if what floor i wanted to live on so yeah you really get to like choose like where you like they really let you choose like oh i want to live here so like if you and all your friends want to max out the whole floor feel me just take over y'all can do that y'all can just be like oh i want to live on this floor in suite four and your friend could be like all right i'm gonna live on that floor too and suite three feel me and like y'all just you can really like choose it's just the freshmen they don't really let y'all do too much so the next question was asked by kiki's corner and she was like do you have to fill out a dorming survey so they can help you select your roommate i don't know anyone so i don't have a choice in who i get also does your room come with the light fixture on the ceiling urgent lmao i'm moving in next month and they take a mad long to even let me know which quad i got accepted into all right um Actually, I think today y'all got told. I remember because literally my orientation was today, last year, August 1st to the 2nd. And literally as we left, like they sent out who we were going to be living with and where we're going to be living. So you probably got that today. I'm sorry I took so long with this video. It just I was trying to get the mental health in there, feel me? But um, so for your first question, do you fill out a dorming survey? Okay, so here's the thing. When you're filling out like... I don't even remember how the process go anymore to be honest when you're filling out your housing like when you're clicking if you want to live in a low rise or the tower they have like a little link or it, it says something and it's like oh go to like i don't remember the website but i know there's a link there and basically that website like lets you take a survey and then it matches you matches you with other people that are going to albany that are freshmen or sophomores or whatever and it gives you like a percentage of how well you guys match together and then from there it has like their social media handles and you can reach out to them and do what it do feel me but um <clears throat> as far as like the school having one no the school does not have one they just attached a link to that website so therefore if you want to look for someone before you move in just so you can get to know them better you can do that and then you guys will like give each other your like student ids and then you would type them in on your housing thing so that the school can find you guys and then pair you guys together feel me but the school itself like albany itself does not have a survey to match you guys with people they just do a random selection and for your next question does the room come with a light fixture on the ceiling honestly it really depends because my room came with two light fixtures one on each side but i know other people's rooms just come with a lamp and have no light fixture so honestly it really just depends on where you get placed at kiki also had another question and her next question was are there a good variety of vegetarian and vegan options available in the dining halls and yes there are there is kosher food there's vegetarian vegan like gluten-free like they have many different options they're just in different parts of the dining hall so make sure when you first go to the dining hall you really walk around because if you go to indian dining hall you're going to walk down the steps and you're immediately going to turn to the left and you're going to walk past this little counter you see like the desserts are going to be right here and there's going to be a counter in front of that you're going to walk past it and you're going to go straight for the pizza burger fries everybody does that but if you were to actually stop at this counter you will see that they have a vegan option and kosher options and then if you go to the right hand side instead of turning left when you first come in you will see they have like a whole salad bar fruit bar sandwiches um like a 
Chinese fried rice section they have cereals and bagels and stuff like that so like I said when you first get there make sure you really walk around and if you have any type of reactions well like allergic reactions to anything make sure you ask them before you eat it just to see if it was cooked with like peanut oil or stuff like that feel me the next question was asked by Brianna Jackson and she said does Albany offer Microsoft Office laptops oh Microsoft Office for laptops or should I just buy it so yes, Albany does offer Microsoft Office, Excel, everything because you're going to need that for certain labs. Um, I think you just log in with like your UAlbany email and it's like you already have it. Um, but if not, you can definitely ask like your advisor or like the teacher or someone. I would just say go to straight to your advisor and they will tell you how to get it because I'm not going to lie. I thought that like I had to pay for it too for my chem class but I didn't really feel like buying it so I didn't um and then it wasn't until like they sent an email like Albany students have it for free like yeah I just gotta log in or do something like that so don't buy it like definitely reach out to your advisor and ask about it but don't buy it because you do get it for free her next question was do you think it makes sense to dorm if the classes will be online and because of all the changes due to corona okay I honestly this is a good question and I'm glad you bring it up I feel like this is very picky and opinionated and I feel like it really depends on your situation your money your living and everything like that because Albany lowered the price a little bit like literally just a little bit they sent an email saying they're gonna lower the price but just a little bit and I feel like you know we are going back to campus but it's not gonna be the same you guys are not gonna get the experience I got last year all the parties are canceled all the student events are canceled everything is canceled a lot of the things like for example you guys can't even sit in the dining hall very few people can sit in the CC like everything is just very 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 limited and like all the classes are pretty much online and I just feel like as a freshman I know you guys are excited like we want to live on campus but I really feel like this year would have been smarter for you to just kind of go to a community college and save money and then transfer into Albany hopefully next year to you know get that real experience if corona isn't still around but it just I just don't feel like it's worth it for a freshman because you guys never got an experience so you guys like yes you may love Albany like you're excited to go but you don't have a real exact love for Albany because you don't know exactly how the events are now I'm not saying oh you know go to a community college and never come back I'm just saying just save a little bit of money and take cheaper classes before coming to Albany because like yeah you're gonna be excited to you know be in a dorm but there's not gonna be any parties there's not gonna be literally anything going on so you're really not gonna have fun a lot of the reasons older kids are coming back is because we got that experience so we know more people so we kind of know like you know a little down low but it go for me um and yeah so i just i don't know i really feel like it, if you really don't have the money to go then i feel like you shouldn't like i know there's a lot of people who are taking their classes at home online to i mean this semester and the next semester they're gonna move on campus if everything returns back to normal but i just i don't know i really feel like it depends on you financially feel me brianna's next question was how often did i use my printer girl i'm a science major and i use that thing literally every week every week because you always have to print something especially for chemistry lab you have to come in with a pre-lab printed every single day and it really depends on the ta some tas will accept it handwritten other tas want it printed and yeah my ta wanted it printed so i had to print it every single day i was also in emt training so i had to print stuff for that to put on the wall because i had to memorize body parts and it was a lot um but yeah i definitely use my printer a lot i would recommend that you get a printer because listen like there's nothing worse than needed something printed for an assignment and you're running late and you got to run to the library and then you got to pay 10 cents to get it printed. And I had to go to a library printer just one time because my printer ran out of ink. Well, that reminds me, I got to buy ink for my printer. Um, and it was really a hassle to get it to print. Like it was just too much because you can't even use your CC dollars. You have to like put actual money on your card and then, you know, do it. And it was just, wait, you can use your CC dollars. I think I just didn't have any more left at the time. I don't know I don't remember the point is I just know it was really a lot of work and I just was like I'm not even a rush to go nowhere like literally after I left the library I just went back to my room but um, I could imagine me having to like go to class and running late like I would have started cursing because I was just getting so frustrated so I definitely recommend that you get your own printer and yeah so those are all the questions I hope I answered them correctly or like I gave you the answer that you were looking for 
but um yeah like i said this will be our last you albany freshman facts video this will not be our last you albany video at all like this is this will never be the last you albany video for me especially for as long as i'm at gonna as long as i'm gonna be in you albany like this is not gonna be the last video for me but this is gonna be the last you albany freshman facts video for this series because like i said these questions are getting a little bit repetitive or they're starting i'm getting asked a lot of questions that just like not everybody wants to know or like isn't looking to know it's just like random questions that i don't really feel would be interesting if i put them in a video so i'm just gonna start answering questions like if you comment one i'm just gonna write a comment and that's it now if all of a sudden i get an abundance of questions that i feel like everybody needs to know then i will pull out another video but if i don't then yeah this was the last one i love this series so much i love you guys for loving it if you guys found this video helpful or you enjoyed the video please make sure to like comment and subscribe you know subscribe button is over here and hit the little bell go to ring a ding ding feel me and yeah comment any new video ideas you have and i'll see you guys in my next video bye